Tory is found guilty, I'll shave my head. I'll shave my whole head ball. Are you serious? Yes. Duvall said a bet is a bet, my boy. And it's 13 degrees in Atlanta at Jock Lab. Hey, Jock go ahead and shave that head. It's not the first time he did something stupid. Last time he wore a dress. I don't know if he lost a bet for that shit, but he was looking real zesty. Had his hair perm, had a tight ass dress on. What the hell is really going on, Jock? But anyway, Tory was found guilty. I remember a couple of days ago when I was watching that Vlad interview, when he was like, look, he had a bet with his radio co-host. It was either he shaved his head bald if Tory lose, but if Meg lose, the girl had to come in with her natural hair because she always wear weaves and shit like that. But Jock lost. He got to come in with the complete baldy. I wonder if he's going to stand tall on his bet because the reason why he took the bet because he was so confident. Just like everybody else, he was so confident that Tory was going to win because of all the inconsistencies. At first, it was the gun residue. Who fired the weapon? They had gun residue from Kelsey and Tory, and then they said they couldn't really say whether Tory had the gun for sure. And then they were saying that he was breaking up a fight. It was Kelsey and Meg that was fighting over him, and he jumped in the middle of it. And it was a witness across the street saying he saw a woman fire a shot first. So Kelsey don't she don't get charged for nothing. A witness literally across the street said, I saw a woman fire first. Then the man took the gun and he fired. I'm not sure if he said he fired into the air, but he said he fired the gun. So based on all the facts, including the bodyguard not showing up and Kelsey switching her story up, we just knew Tory was winning. But hey, the court made a decision. Simple as that, man. What y'all think about this, your boy? Be moose.